Hey guys, welcome to LaFontaine Classics. I've got a really slick 66 Fastback. You know we love these things, and we're gonna go for a drive today, show you the ins and outs, and at the end I'm gonna let you know where you can find our full listing, because it's a new arrival, and it's about to be for sale. We're gonna get right into the meat and potatoes on this one. We have a hood release right up under our Mustang pony there. Nice and slick. Hood hinges doing their job. Got nice shiny bits up here. And our 302 V8. I love the fin valve covers. I dig the chrome air cleaner. Looks like a new paper element in there. Something cool they did from the factory on these. They tied the shock towers right back to the firewall. That's all factory. And we even have a tie bar here going from the fender apron to the other. So very rigid front end for what it is. You notice we have the original VIN still present on this fender apron. And that means most times this has not been in a collision, which is awesome. Uh, we got a radiator here with a nice shroud. Looks like new hose, clamps, um, newer battery. Starter solenoid even looks new. Newer alternator downstairs. Nice new belts. This thing is slick. Let's seal this up and check out the rest of the car. Hood closes down in there nice. Our bright work looks really good. Our lenses and the chrome. Oof, this is sharp. I dig the grills they got in the 66. It's a good looking ride, that 302 badge. I see one small spot of touch up paint here. Just no big deal, fortunately there's no ding there. We got nice mag style wheel covers with some red line bias plies. Slick and period correct. Mustang badging over on our fender looks killer, as does that GT style stripe. Come on down, got a beautiful door handle, got the nice gill, clean wheel arch moldings, and a very flat and straight quarter panel. Trunk fits pretty darn well for you know what th this car is, no doubt. Now to pop the trunk. All right, um, underside of the deck lid looks good. We have a nice seal on here, latch looks, looks to be newer. Um, we have our spare, and down over here we have our lug wrench and little tool kit. You see the gas tanks are exposed on these cars. This one looks to be a newer piece as well. Rather sharp. Cool. Our lenses look very good. I see the faux moco stamping on them. Our gas fill right in the center. This is super cool and iconic. Classic Mustang. And then as you creep down lower, you see in this rear valence, we have dual exhaust exiting with a nice rolled stainless steel tip. How about that? Come down the passenger side and you see the same story. It looks like the deck lid fits just a bit through over here, but very nice all around. Look at our nice big piece of back glass. There's no tint on here. I like this fishbowl look. This is an original piece of glass in an impressive shape. I don't see many scratches to talk about either. Our quarter panel on the passenger side looks stout. Fitment of the doors is everything you could want. Fender looks very nice over here as well. And again, with the mag wheel covers and the super sports, come on now. Take a peek at that windshield. Bright work around there is sharp. The top of our dash pad looks great. We even got the stainless wiper arms. Ooh la la. All right, these doors open phenomenally. See, so we got a paint match door car. These are steel, and then our nice white pleats running up and down. All looks to be in good shape. Nice little armrest, window crank, and door release. As we come inside, there's a nice looking carpet kit and two really sharp white bucket seats. And this white theme carries to the dash and the headliner. All very slick. Now over in front of me here on the driver's side, we've got a gorgeous three-spoke wooden wheel made into a nice polished hub. And we have our factory instruments with the matching wood grain. This car has a fuel gauge, oil pressure, speedo going up to 140 miles an hour. We have an amp meter and then our coolant temp over there. And you've got a couple fun poles, one for our wipers, our lights, cigarette lighter, and then we have our retro sound radio that's been fitted. Glove compartment looks good. We have a 66 owner's manual in here, which is nice to have. And that seals up good. We have nice visors as well. Good looking mirror. And now check out the back. Um, 
This is a fold down option car. So the seat actually folds down. It will make a flat, hard surface for you so you can store some things. Um, one cool option about this year too, these are all functional fresh air vents. Open and close them up. Pretty slick. We are off in our Mustang here. Put this radio play in. Like I'll tell you this, if I go to a bar and they use a coaster. That comes through nice and clear. Um, this is cool. I like these radios. They look old school and they're right at home in these cars, but it's got all that modern tech. You could even hook an aux up to this one. Brakes feel good as we come to a stop. Steering wheel uh, does not get pulled in any direction. Um, doing about 45 miles an hour right now. The car tracks straight. Uh, feels good through the RPM range here. healthy all right and nice and tight through turn number two give it a little bit of gusto that is smooth at 60 miles an hour transmission is shifting good too This thing is as American as cherry pie, I swear. Red over the white is gorgeous, and you can't go wrong with the first gen fastback. If you want to see anything more on this one, we drop a link in these descriptions. You click on that, you go to our website, you get the full photo gallery, the breakdown of what's been done, um, what we know about it. And lastly, this is a new arrival. If you want to be in tune with them, like, subscribe, and that way uh, you can stay in touch with what we have coming in. There's new stuff arriving every day. Thanks, we will see you in the next video.